The year is 2525. Space is no longer the final frontier. Mankind has spread out to the farthest reaches of the known galaxy. Those far reaches are dangerous, filled with space pirates, deadly asteroids, and random anomalies. That doesn't mean the people living out there still don't want stuff. That's where I come in. I am Captain Buckman. I pride myself on being the best fracking pilot in the galaxy, if not the universe. Back in the day, I flew for Earth Force. After that, I won the space racing tour three years in a row. Thing is, past accomplishments don't pay today's bills. In order to make some quick cash, I've adapted to the times by becoming a space runner. These days, I deliver packages to the far corners of space. My motto, when you need it there yesterday. Great news, Captain Boxer. I have picked up a transmission from Outpost Omega 36D. BC, the biggest transport company in the known sectors, is looking to hire space runners. What does that have to do with me? I'm an independent, a lone wolf, a, a maverick. Ah, well, not to cloud the issue with facts, but a glance at your accounts shows you have exactly zero credits. And I admit, business has been slow. Maybe I need to snap your motto, or a new website. And due to a string of, let's call them, bad breaks, you do owe the mob far more than zero credits. I can't believe the Android rugby team didn't cover the spread. Okay, I guess I can listen to the offer from BC. I've contacted BC. Their CEO, Susanna Siren, will give you their terms when you reach the outpost. Before our arrival, I want to make sure you understand a few basic features of our ship, so you can live. You can see our ship in the center of the screen. It is composed of hexagonal pieces linked together. You can also see our command bridge. This is where we are standing. It is the core of our ship. No matter what, don't let anything bad happen to this bridge. You can change the view by moving the mouse cursor to an edge of the screen. The view will slide in that direction. You can also use the arrow keys to slide the view. To center the view on your ship when it is off screen, click on your ship icon. You can also press the space key to center the view, fast and easy. Good job. Time to hurry a little now. Being fast is the key to becoming rich. Let's build a nice new thruster on the ship. I've activated the tool. Look for the small thruster construction. Click on it to see. Once selected, you can place the thruster on the ship simply by clicking on a valid location. Thruster ready to go. Great. As I am sure you are aware, Space is a dangerous place, filled with pirates and asteroids. Let's get ready to take them on. Now the... Select the laser cannon construction by... Laser cannons can be oriented before placing by using the mouse wheel. This is very important for your success. Use the mouse wheel to change the orientation, then click on a valid ship location to build your laser cannon. baby has Great job, Captain. You've made me proud. Remember, weapons shoot automatically when a target comes within their range. Every construction you build will require hex nuts. Nothing is free these days. The good news is when you destroy asteroids and other ships, they will usually drop some nice hex nuts for you. Move your mouse over the floating hex nuts to collect them. Due to the volatile nature of our business, constructions are bound to suffer some damage during our trips. If a construction is damaged, you can repair it at the cost of some hex nuts. To repair a construction, click on it, then click on the repair action. 
Adaptation is an important aspect of this job. If you don't need a construction any longer, you can recycle it. To recycle a construction, bring up the action menu of the construction by clicking on it. Then, click on the recycle action. Good job, Captain Boxer. Now that you know the basics, put them to good use to ensure our safe arrival. Remember, if we die, we don't get back. Consider it done. This may be as Mr. Buck, Captain Sir, I have Susanna Siren, the CEO, CFO, and all-around head honcho of Big Cargo on the line. Let's not keep the lady waiting. Mr. Mann, thank you for taking my call. Call me Buck. Of course, Buck. I hear you are a bit of a wild card, hard to control, and a general pain in the behind. <laughs> Don't believe everything you hear. I also hear you're the best pilot around. <laughs> okay. Believe some of what you hear. We here at BC pride ourselves on fast, safe delivery. Yeah, I can do that, with emphasis on the fast part. We don't usually hire freelancers, but our demand is very high now. I don't usually work for other people, and my need is very high now. So we're even. Good. So we're on the same page. Yeah, it's not exactly rocket science. You give me crates filled with stuff, then I take them where you want them to go. ASAP. Very good. If the first delivery meets my expectations, there will be more work for you. Good luck, Mr. Man. Wow, Susanna's hot. How do you know? I did not see you take her temperature. Androids. Sir, we are ready to load cargo onto the ship. Remember, BC prides themselves on fast, safe delivery. Yeah, I know the drill. Click on an icon in the construction panel to grab a piece of cargo. Then, click on an empty space of the ship to place it. So easy, even a human can do it. We are ready to rocket and roll. I'll forget you said that. Let's get this old crate moving. Captain Boxer, threat detection radar has been activated. With my luck, I'm sure something will pop up soon. 
small, but still deadly asteroids are coming towards us. I suggest we prepare quickly. Sometimes I... Done, sir. You will be happy to know Big Cargo has paid you for the delivery. Did Susanna tip? Let's not push it, Captain Buck. I suggest you reinvest some of this newfound wealth into ship improvements. Sure. I'm a firm believer that change is good, especially when it helps keep me breathing. Excellent. After each successful space run, you should visit the engineering section. This is where all the most successful captains go to purchase new modules for their ships. You can also upgrade existing ship features here, too. I'm giddy with anticipation. I have been monitoring the airwaves and noticed your reputation is growing. I've always had a rep. Yes, but now your reputation is positive. As your reputation continues to grow, I am sure you will be entrusted with more deliveries. As a bonus, you will have access to more powerful modules and abilities in the engineering section. It's good being me.
Sir, we are ready to load cargo onto the ships. Remember, BC prides themselves on fast, safe delivery. Yeah, I know the drill. Click on an icon in the construction panel to grab a piece of cargo. We are ready to rocket and roll. Captain Box, sir. Threat detection radar has been activated. With my luck, I'm sure something will pop up soon. Small, but still deadly asteroids are coming towards us. I suggest we prepare quickly. Sometimes I hate being right. Consider it done. This baby has teeth. Your wish is my command. This baby has teeth. is my command. Thruster ready to go.
wish is my command. Right away. Ready for action. Excellent choice. This may be as deep. Consider it done. Thruster ready to go. Right away. Ready for action. Maybe has to. Right away. We did it again, Captain. We are the A team of space runners. Sir, 
I have an incoming communication from Nuclear Star. Put him through. Mr. Man, your recent exploits have come to our attention. As I am sure you are aware, we are the leader in transportation of nuclear material in the known worlds. Uh, who can forget your motto? We do nuclear waste right. Yes, exactly. Due to a chain reaction of recent events, we find ourselves in need of a new space runner. I figured this wasn't a social call. My boys, I mean my associates and I, want you to be that space runner. If it works out, you will be able to brag to all your buddies you have a glamorous job in nuclear waste. And we will offer more work. How's the pay? Are there any benefits? He could really use a good dental plan. Uh, well, you see, uh, due to the volatile nature of our product, we can't offer you insurance or benefits, but our rates are very competitive. Uh, plus, if something were to happen to you, we do put a nice note in our blog. How touching. I've read that blog. I should mention that, due to the explosive tendencies of our product, speedy delivery is a must. Don't worry, I'm not one to take the scenic route. Excellent, then. Of course, you understand, the less damage our product takes during delivery, the happier our clients will be, and the safer you'll be. We don't care so much about your safety, but we like happy clients. Touching. I should probably note that our competition will stop at nothing to stop you. It is a dirty business. If it were easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> I like you. Let's get this job rolling.
Flash is my command. This baby has teeth. Aye aye, my captain. Ready for action. It's my pleasure to serve. You got it. This baby has teeth. Wish is my command. Thruster ready to go. Wish is my command. This baby has teeth. is my command. Right away. This baby has teeth. Ready for action. Excellent choice. Thruster ready to go. is my command. my captain this baby has teeth not to be critical but wow that was bad This 
It's my pleasure to serve. Right away. This baby has tea. This baby has tea. Ready for action. to serve. Ready for action. Ready for action.
my pleasure to serve. Thruster ready to go. is my command. This may be as deep. Ready for action. We did it again, Captain. We are the A-Team of Space Runners. <laughs> Sir, it seems your success has made you a bit of a star. 
You have an incoming call from the Brandon Richards. This ought to be interesting. Buck! Buck man! Your reputation precedes you. You are one cool space runner. Thanks. To what do I owe this honor? It is quite the honor to speak with me. Usually my time is booked months in advance, but I have a proposition for you. My newest mega successful company, VIP Travel, could use a man like you. Uh, okay. We ferry people, very rich people, people who like to travel in style to the very deep reaches of space. Due to your newfound fame, we want you to be a space runner for us. I'm listening. It's a pretty sweet gig. We give you a few passengers, complete with their own rooms. All you've got to do is get them from here to there, alive. You know, I'm not a cruise director. Not only do you get to rub elbows with the rich and famous, but we pay mega tip-top dollar. Well, when you think about it, I guess all space runners are... kinda cruise directors. Excellent. You can load your passengers at your own convenience, as long as you do it now. Richard's out. Perhaps I should call you Captain Stubing from now on? Shut it, Adam. <laughs>